<laughs> As a kid, I thought I was indecisive, but now I'm not so sure. <laughs> I had an epiphany determined that my self-confidence needed to grow, as I did. Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome guests. The more my self-confidence grew, the bigger the mess I seemed to make with my life. For instance, I'm so confident I didn't rehearse this speech. <laughs> I decided I would just fake it because I really do believe that spontaneity just comes naturally to me. It's like magic as long as I practice really hard and rehearse constantly. <laughs> when I moved to Monterey, I was a brand new widow and I was all alone. I was told by unbelievable amounts of human beings and the cancer groups, etc., etc., absolutely not to do this, not to make that kind of a move, not to do anything major change for a solid year. I don't listen to any of that nonsense. <laughs> they had pie charts that guaranteed my failure. It stated. Absolutely. I was not going to be able to make it here in Monterey by myself with that kind of drama going on. Therefore, I googled it. And I discovered on info.com that 97.5% of all information gleaned off the internet is simply made up. <laughs> <laughs> so I bought a house here. I'm searching for a new job here, and I decide that I am going to go out and find new friends doing that which I'm pretty familiar with, and that's, I was good at, I understood art, and I understood history. So I showed up to find friends at the Monterey Art Association. This was a meeting and a preview of the Edward Steichen Collection of Photography. Okay. I wore this very outfit. That's why I wore this here today. Note, this is called an LBD, for those of you who don't know. Little black dress. This outfit goes with absolutely every social event in the world, except tractor pulls. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to understand that when I moved here, I was a really big fish in my pond. <coughs> Moving to Monterey, I discovered there's some seriously deep quicksand in the social world of Monterey. <laughs> Crossed my fingers that all would be well, and I showed up to the event. Luckily for me, every single woman was dressed in an LBD. <laughs> Yay! I was right. I knew the art. I was fantastic. I am on first base socially. Got this. So people are not very nice to me. I have no one to talk to. So I decided to take out my cell phone and I'm taking selfies. And I'm admiring the art. At which point, right? At which point, this woman with a thick German accent comes up and she is shrieking at me. She is dressed as if she is the help. I mean, no disrespect, but she's yelling. <laughs> <laughs> and she's explaining to me in her accent that this is against all the rules to be taking photographs, something to do with copyright. Copyright, copyright. So I naturally say copyright, schmoppy right? <laughs> and I stand next to a woman close to me, and I tell Miss Grumpy that she could go ahead and take my photo with this lady. So I hand her my telephone, and I, so I stand next to a lady, and Miss Grumpy, she takes our picture, click, and she actually threw the phone at me. Kid you not, threw it. <laughs> at which point, lady standing next to me said, you got some nerve. That was Edward Steichen's daughter you just had take our <laughs> I wish I was making that up. Halloween 
comes. I decide I'm going to do a better job. So I show up to the Monterey Art Association. I'm going to do it better this time. The theme of the event was opposites attract. So I had met a guy here. And he was in the military. So he dressed up as G.I. Joe. And I decided that I was going to dress up as a Russian officer and call it the Cold War Warms. <laughs> <laughs> One hour before Halloween party, he cancels. <laughs> I have no candy to give to the kids here in town. So I decided to go anyway. And I changed my, my little sky. I made a sign and everything. I changed it to Hans Russian Solo. So I show up at the event dressed like this. It's a Halloween party. I know all about Halloween party. I'm great at that. Turns out, this is what Monterey women wear <laughs> with this. There was only one other person in the room that was not dressed in that uniform. You guessed it. <laughs> I figure I snuck out and got out as quickly as I humanly could possibly get out. Figure, maybe nobody noticed. Sure they did. She took pictures. <laughs> <laughs> now, not tomorrow, but the following Saturday, Monterey event is having another art deal, and I have paid $1,000 for tickets for my husband and myself. I double-checked. I triple-checked. I know for sure that it's a costume. It's Victoriana art for women. That's what's going on. I know. I looked. I checked their costume. That's going to be me. That's my dress. I'm all set. Yesterday, I got the guest list of the table mates. <laughs> Thank you. to the speech of the speaker who I'm evaluating at the moment. I couldn't believe I'm witnessing it. Really. Kyle was delivering speech number four from Humorously Speaking Advanced Manual. And do, do you know what the objective were of this project number four? She was supposed to open with a joke, tell us at least two stories, several sets of string together jokes, and then close with a story which would be related to the whole speech. So she had to tell us six or seven related jokes in five to seven minutes. I knew it was impossible. <laughs> <laughs> she told us 20. I can only ask. I was Thank you so much for the epiphany. Oh. However, I have several suggestions for your next impromptu speech. <laughs> so well First of all, I felt that the warming up part of your speech was a little bit long, and not by the content. The jokes were very well crafted and very well delivered. I think the pace was a little bit too slow. And I think the reason why you were slowed down a little bit was usage of the visual aids. You don't really need it. You're the best visual aid ever. <laughs> <laughs> I think the visual aids were in, actually in your way a little bit. I even noticed a little bit of this, and I, I will stop saying a little bit. Even that. <laughs> Professor Walk here, which we all know from our speeches. So just lose this visual if you don't need them. You told us two fascinating stories, very funny. And what I like about them were that they were built together in the same pattern. So you can use it. Maybe start with being a little <laughs> being unsure what to wear, expecting epiphany and tri triumph, and then failing. Maybe this lady. Maybe one visual aid I would let you keep is a picture of the lady. It was hilarious. And 
that's actually is simplify slides or just remove them at all. Great speech. I look forward to the next epiphany. Mm.